Hi, this is Show Me Leads in our Marketo Foundation Training Series. And today, we will be covering programs and campaigns within Marketo. We will begin with an overview of programs. Now, programs are the most important component of your marketing automation. They are what drives your marketing operations and all of your marketing initiatives within Marketo. Examples of programs include blog, content, direct mail, email blast, list purchase, online advertising, telemarketing, and events. Now some key terms to know about programs. The first is period costs which track and associate lead nurturing and lead acquisition costs for a program by defining when and where you want to take costs for leads. Tags and channels. They're also important because they're descriptions and classifications of program types. It allows you to identify these within reporting and better group your programs. Progression steps, they measure the success for leads within a program and those steps are specific to a channel, as well as program membership. And that refers to any lead that is part of a program. So an overview within a program are local assets. And these are assets which you create for use within a specific program. These are used by child campaigns which live within the context of your program. And assets serve as a shortcut to viewing its individual properties. Some types of local assets include emails, landing pages, forms, static lists, smart lists, landing page test groups. Program members as I mentioned already, there are leads within a program and they're added by a flow step, either manual or trigger, and it would be change program status. So something like a form submission could trigger a change program status flow step. So, and then new members are leads that have been acquired through a program, and this could be a lead that was forwarded a link and then they submitted a form and you got a new lead through that program. So progression status are used for channels and upon creating a program you select the channel that you wish to use. And you can change or add a list of progression statuses in the admin section of Marketo. And I've provided the screenshot right there. And I will show you where that is. Go to, go to admin, tags. And you can create a new tag so that you could add more reporting capabilities or you could use Marketo's out of the box channel tags which has already a list provided for you for our example I've used trade show which has the following statuses This is where you can make modifications to existing tags. I will not make any. So before I proceed to show you my program with the Marketo, let's take an overview of campaigns. And then we will proceed from there. So campaigns are considered child campaigns because they're a special type of smart campaign which only lives within a program. They're built to serve a specific purpose and a specific goal within a program. So, each campaign has its own smart list, but 
Unlike a smart list, campaigns can be either batch or trigger. So a triggered campaign could be based on someone filling out a form or unsubscribing from an email or any sort of action that would be considered a behavior. On the other hand, batch campaigns are based on attributes such as demographic attributes so someone could have a particular state such as California and you would schedule a campaign to be executed at a particular point in time in the future so campaign types batch first trigger reactive our batch and they're smart lists with only filters. The flows can be one or more steps, and it can be scheduled to set at a specific date or time. Now, proactive triggers, and you can include filters as well as triggers within the smart list to narrow down the selection. And the flow could be one or more steps and it is activated and cannot be scheduled because it is live once you've set it to active. So let's begin by looking at the program which I created. I'm called TS-San Francisco-122314, which is today's date. TS stands for trade show, and then my location and the, the date. So you want to follow a good naming convention that is consistent throughout all of your programs. So you could have an acronym for webinars, trade shows, email blasts. As long as it's consistent, it'll help you out in the end. So just looking at the summary, see the channel is trade show. We also see the created. Under results, we see the total members acquired by socially acquired and success. And under members by program status, we see all of the statuses for this channel. This summarizes all of my assets. My setup tab. I have a channel trade show. I have a period cost. If I want to edit it, I simply double click. And I can change the program month as well as the cost. You can add analytics behavior if you like. It's already defined for the specific channel that I am using, which is trade show. So it'd be inclusive regardless of period cost. You could have local tokens to a program. So as I covered tokens in a different lecture with emails where they begin lead dot a particular attribute name here you could drag and drop one of these uh, options on the right column and you could say date and set a particular date so if you add this token to any email landing page anything that rests within this program anyone seeing the live version would see that particular value. And this is the same for number, rich text, score, SFDC campaign, and text. And it makes it a lot simpler to clone a program and only change the values within this My Tokens tab so that it would change across all of the assets. So this is good for like recurring demos or webinars where only the dates are being updated. And here you can view your members. Currently I don't have any. So just looking at my program, I see I have assets, 
campaigns, progression statuses. Within assets, I have two emails, my invite and my thank you to attendees, as well as my lists of attendees. Now, my campaigns are what send the invite and send outbound emails. So if I select invite and I see in my smart list I could have a separate smart list and call out member of smart list but I've defined my own one right here and the criteria was email address contains an at symbol so anyone with an email most likely that is valid not someone that just put test in that field they would get the email as well as job category contains any one of these options because this is who I wanted to target for this campaign and using all filters and in the flow I would select the email so it is prepended by the program name so I know this email would go out and I would schedule it for some time in the future and you do this by selecting run once select select running now or running later and then set the date and time and my thank you for attending the smart list looks at member of list so in the context of a trade show you would most likely have a manual list that you would import into Marketo and this is the list to which I would like to send out send out my email that thanks them for attending my trade show so I select that particular list attendees and those that visited my booth and in the flow I would send them the thank you and I would schedule this for some time in the future after the event has occurred so moving on to progression statuses also campaigns anything within a program has to be executed through a campaign as I have stated before campaigns are what make things happen what changes any data any action anything that has to be taken unless you manually did it and it could be done on particular leads with a manual flow action as far as automating everything is done through campaigns So invited, I would like to change their program status to invited so that I could report on it. And how would I track that? And a simple solution is the people who I invited, they were all sent the email. So in the smart list, I use not a trigger, but a filter that looks at past behavior from lead history. And that is was sent email and I selected my invite email and in the flow I select the action to change program status and you see that the only options here are the ones defined in the tag section of admin for trig show So invited, attended, show, visited booth, engaged, and all of them have not in program by default. So I would change that to invited. And I would run this after the email was sent out.
Now in my next one, attended trade show, I select member of list. And in the flow, I give them a new status of attended show. And this would also be done manually. For this particular program type, there's not a lot of room for triggers, but if it was something like a webinar, it would have a status of registered after invited, and you would have a trigger fill that form. And that is all. Thank you.